Hello and welcome to the Cleburne County 4-H Officer Training. I'm your host Jessica Angel, the Family Consumer Science Agent for Cleburne County. Let's get started. Serving over 14,000 youth in all 75 counties in the state of Arkansas, 4-H Youth Development Programs span topics from agriculture to zoology and everything in between. As becoming a 4-H'er, you will have hands-on learning, You'll also be able to communicate, lead, and serve your community in new and innovative ways. 4-H delivers quality programs through a variety of ways, including community clubs, those projects or maybe even special interest clubs, your in-school clubs, school enrichment programs, and after-school programming. The mission of the 4-H is to help you as children, youth, and your family realize your full potential and to improve the quality of your life. The 4-H Youth Development Program provides opportunities for you as youth to acquire knowledge, develop skills, form attitudes, and practice behavior that will enable you to become self-directing, productive, and be a contributing member to society. Let's talk about the basics of 4-H. The 4-H year is based on the calendar year and runs from January 1st to December 31st. The phrase, learning by doing, sums up the education philosophy of the 4-H program. It is proven that youth learn best when they are involved in their educational experiences. The 4-H emblem is a four-leaf clover with the letter H on each leaf. The letters in the emblem stand for head, heart, hands, and health, the foundation of all 4-H programs. The motto, to make the best better, is intended to inspire you as young people to continue to learn, and grow, but also to make your best efforts better through participating in educational experiences. The 4-H colors are green and white. Green stands for nature's most common color. It symbolizes springtime, life, and youth. The color white symbolizes purity and high ide ideals. Life skills are a basic foundation that prepares you for success in life. The goal is for you to possess the necessary life skills to succeed and lead a productive life. We use our head to think, to plan, and to reason, like record keeping, goal setting, problem solving, and decision making. We use our heart to be kind, true, and sympathetic towards one another by feeling, caring, perhaps even maybe sportsmanship and responsibility. We use our hands to be useful, helpful, and skillful by working, doing community service, giving, and teamwork. And our health is considered as to resist disease, enjoy life, and to make for efficiency by personal safety, self-esteem, character, and responsibility. Let's take a closer look at targeting life skills. Here's the 4-H targeting life skills model created by Iowa State University. In the head category, you see that we have two subcategories, managing and thinking. In managing, this might be keeping records, using uh, your resources, maybe planning and organizing and goal setting. And then in your thinking subcategory, you have critical thinking, problem solving, decision making, um, and even service learning. In the other category, we have heart. You can see here we have two subcategories, relating and caring. In caring, that might consist of your concern for others, you showing empathy towards one another, perhaps even sharing, and those nurturing relationships. In relating, you ha might have conflict resolution, social skills, cooperation, communication, and also accepting differences. In the hands category, you have two subcategories, giving and working. In giving, this might be your community service volunteering, perhaps even leadership, responsible citizenship, and contributions to group effort. Your working, this is um, consisted of teamwork. Of course, we need teamwork within our club. Also, self-motivation and marketable skills. In your health category, this is living and being, both subcategories. Here in the living category, you have personal safety, disease prevention, stress management, and healthy lifestyle choices. And then the being, this consists of self-esteem, your character, managing those feelings, self-discipline, and also self-responsibility. A good 4-H club cannot function without elective officers. A 4-H club can be no better than the quality of its leadership. As one of the officers of your club, you have a responsibility to see that it carries on the best possible program and that it measures up in every way to the 4-H club ide ideals. You should feel honored that your fellow member 
have placed their conf confidence in you. A great officer team will work to ensure the club's activities and projects are successful for their fellow members and the community at large. As leaders in the 4-H club, each officer has a responsibility to the group, in addition to the specific roles associated with his or her office. The number of officers for each club will vary, but the officer roles typically consist of president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, photographer, song leader, and recreation leader. Each officer's duties is outlined in the 4-H Club Officer's Manual, which can be assessed by visiting www.uax.edu slash publications slash pdf slash c408 dot pdf. Now, let's take a few moments to review each officer's position thoroughly. Again, here you see that we have officers, president, vice president, secretary, reporter, treasurer, photographer, song leader, and recreation leader. The president holds the highest title of officer in the club. The president will preside over meetings, ensure programs are properly conducted, and communicate with volunteer leaders and agents. As a president, you will check on arrangements for meetings, such as including the meeting place, program, and business. You will conduct the business session of the club meeting. As president, you should be familiar with ways of voting and deciding when each should be used. You can call for a motion on any question that requires a decision. You can ask that a motion be made by another member in your club. You can also ask that that motion be seconded by a member if, and if you need to restate the motion, that is okay so that way people can understand. Also, it is important to know how to carry through a motion. You, as president, you can also appoint committees unless otherwise instructed in the business meeting. You may approve payment of accounts as directed by the club, and you can establish the order of business. But remember, communication is key for a 4-H club president. A good president will study and be informed on the 4-H club programs. Keep in close contact with the adult leaders. A good president will open the meeting on time and close on time. A good president will be courteous to guests. A good president will be impartial in decisions. A good president will also become familiar with the business to be transacted in each meeting. A good president will keep the program moving, speak clearly and loudly enough for everyone to hear. A good president will also help younger members so that way they're not discouraged and that they will keep coming back to the meetings and be active in your 4-H club. But also a good president will become familiar with parliamentary law. And if you always need more information, you can always contact our office. The vice president is not just a backup. The vice president helps plan the programs for the 4-H year, but also aids in communicating with members about programs and helps when, whenever needed. A secretary is thorough in their work as they keep the permanent record of the club in the official secretary's book. They keep track of the memberships, including names, addresses, and certain other information on each member. They also check role slash attendance at each club meeting. They take minutes during the business meeting, and this is a good time to be near the president and give attention to all discussions and matters of business. A secretary will write the official record of what has been done during the meeting. They will also read the minutes of the last meeting at the beginning of each regular meeting. A secretary will send out notices of 4-H club meetings and make an annual report as shown in the secretary's book and provide materials to the volunteer leader to share with the county extension agents, like myself. Here are some examples of some program ideas for your club. Did you know March is, National Arche is actual archaeology month here in Arkansas? You can invite your local archaeologists to speak about the historic and prehistoric communities in your region. You can go green in celebration of St. Patty's Day by learning about ways to conserve energy and resources by inviting a guest speaker from a local energy cooperative or company. We always hope for the best on this one, but March is usually when we see many storms. You could have a meteorologist or storm chaser come talk to the club and you can learn about the storm safety. It's always good to be prepared. Another good program idea is to learn about the volunteer opportunities in 4-H. You can have a member of adult, you can have a member or adult leader talk with the 4-H about summer camp op opportunities, leadership programs, and local events. The possibilities are endless here, but you can get creative. We also have ideas located in our leader book as well.
as treasurer, you will handle all money matters for 4-H Club Group. It is your responsibility to keep an accurate record in the treasurer's book of how all money is used and keep files of appropriate documentation. Ensure funds collected are deposited as soon as possible. Pay all of the group's expenses promptly and prepare and present a summary of income and expenses at each meeting. Also, it is your responsibility to maintain the club's financial records in an orderly fashion. How do we know what is happening in 4-H Club? Well, the reporter. The reporter writes small stories to share with local newspapers, county newsletters, and other media outlets. The reporter writes these articles as soon as they happen and shares it with the volunteer leaders and the county extension agents so that they can be edited and submitted to the proper media sources. Things to remember as a reporter, be quick, be right, be different, be neat, and always be there. Every picture tells a story and the photographer captures as much as they can. Working with the reporter, the photographer provides pictures of club activities throughout the year. You can take pictures by bringing a camera to each club meeting and activity. You can also take group photos of the club as well. Maybe take pictures of members' projects on request. Take pictures of members participating in a club program or directing an activity, as well as furnish those pictures to local newspapers in cooperation with the club reporter. As a photographer of your club, you are able to help members put these photos in their record books as well as sharpen your skills of photography for the competition of the Ross Photography Contest. Group singing helps club members feel more at ease and center their interest on the program. Music can be a fun part of any 4-H club meeting. The song leader is in charge of selecting a variety of songs to use that most youth are familiar with. For example, the Star Spangled Banner. The song leader will lead the group in fun, interactive songs that all of the audience can participate in. Let's discuss some song leading tips. Always be full of energy and enthusiasm. If you are enjoying yourself, the group you are leading is more likely to have fun too. Be prepared with your songs. Always have a few extra songs in mind so that you can keep the flow going and can entertain the 4-H'ers, especially if you need a few extra more minutes. Always start and end song sessions with familiar songs so the group feels involved. Know the song yourself. Practice teaching new songs. When things are not going well, laugh. Have fun. This is supposed to be fun and enjoyable. Look the group in the eye. It makes them feel involved. And also, use your arms for gestures and tempo, but be cautious of overuse. Here are some song examples for you to incorporate into your meetings. Every Balance Club meeting involves recreational activities from formal games and leadership exercise to mixers and icebreakers. The recreational leader is also called to select activities that all can participate and have fun with. Here's an example of an icebreaker called Two Truths and a Lie. You as a recreation leader will instruct your 4-H group members to take turns sharing two facts and one fiction about themselves. The rest of the group is to guess what is true and what is not true. You as a leader will give the group about two minutes to think of their two truths and their lie. Have each member share their truths and lies and as a group guess what is fact and what is fiction. This is a great activity to learn more about your members. Much of the detailed work of the club program can be done best through committees. The president will help with the help of the club leader should appoint certain standing committees to be responsible for major phases of the club program. Other special committees may be appointed from time to time according to the needs of the club. Standing committees should be appointed early in the club year. The club leader or some other adult should work with each of the five committees. The number of members on each committee may vary from time to from two to five, depending on the number in the club. Standing committees could be club history, maybe recreation, membership and record committee, or specific jobs on project records can be a leadership for older members. A suggested constitution can be found in the back of the 4-H club secretary's book. Club members should discuss and adopt this one, or they might change it to see what fits the club best. Each member of your club should have some understanding of the club's constitution. 
In any club or organization, it is important that both the officers and the members know some of the rules of conducting a meeting. This is known as parliamentary procedure. As a member, you should know how to do several steps necessary for proper con conduct of a meeting. Every member should know how to address the presiding officer and how to make and second a motion, as we previously discussed in the president's role. If you need further help with this, we have more information here at the Extension Office to guide you on being successful in parliamentary procedure. The success or failure of any organization depends largely on the program. The more care and thought that's put into a program, the greater the probability of a successful 4-H club. The important aspect of any 4-H club meeting is to provide a balance of fun, business, and learning as depicted in the club wheel at the right time. If you find yourself unbalanced, your club will not roll along smoothly and members will not want to return. When you're planning your club's activities, remember to provide a significant role for each member. Also, meet needs of all of the group members. Maybe share responsibility among the members as well, but ensure a balanced program. Also, provide for better communication. Provide an opportunity to learn planning skills and avoid those calendar conflicts because I know we all have busy schedules. Here are some tips and tricks for your meeting. Start and stop meetings on time. Communicate upcoming events, dates, and responsibilities with members and parents. A club with about 10 to 15 members provides the best opportunity for good meetings. Also, ensure everybody has a role. Set behavior standards and hold true to them. Hold meetings in the evening or after school. However, some clubs might decide to meet during the day, and this is totally acceptable. Whatever works best for your club is key. Have a variety of activities both during and apart from club meetings. Club officers and committees should function actively. Give the first year club members some responsibility. This is important that they feel involved too. Also provide opportunities for members and leaders to help plan the program and activities. Another thing to consider is year round meeting dates because those are most desirable because there is no downtime. A successful 4-H meeting is the result of planning. Good meetings do not just happen, they are planned. The time and thought given to advanced preparation result in better club meetings and increased participation and enthusiasm by a member. Here is a 4-H meeting checklist for you to go by. Do the officers and leaders check meeting plans beforehand? Does the president call the meeting to order on time? Keep the meeting rolling and close it on time? Do all officers use correct parliamentary procedure? Is the business part of the meeting short or is it snappy? Are guests introduced and made to feel at home? Is there a special program in addition to the business meeting and recreation? Does the meeting have a variety? Is the educational program of interest to everyone? Did everyone learn something? Is at least one demonstration given at each meeting? Is there singing or other musical involvement during the meeting? Is there an opportunity for members to get to know one another? We might call this networking. Are all announcements short and to the point? Do officers avoid doing all the talking? But most importantly, do leaders avoid doing all the talking? Do all or most of the members take part in the meeting? Is the recreation suitable to the meeting place and the group? Is there a common courtesy shown between officers and members? And are leaders given a chance to voice their opinions? But most importantly, is there fun, learning, fellowship, and fellowship at the meeting? Remember, we discussed all of these in the targeting life skills model as well. If you have any questions about today's recording, please contact, contact us at the Extension Office at 501-362-2524. We will be happy to assist you in any way possible.